Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I want to correct an error that appears in the sixth edition of my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. In the book, the cover looks like this. It's the most recent edition as of this video co-authored with Simon Monk, but I am responsible for the error that appears here. Simon Monk must be held innocent of all charges. And here we go. Let me see if I can manipulate this. It's been a while since I've used this program. The problem appears in chapter 10 on inductance. And we have to scroll down until we get to page 175. On that page, we'll find something about mutual inductance. What happens, and you'll have to read the rest of the text, the whole chapter, and preferably the whole book up to this point, to understand uh, the gist of this, but we have mutual inductance between two inductors that can either oppose or act in opposition, uh, depending upon how they are connected, if they're connected in series. This uh, is all outlined on page 175. When we have two inductors connected in series and we observe reinforcing mutual inductance, we can calculate the total or net inductance L with the formula the total inductance L equals the inductance of the first coil L1 plus the inductance of the second coil L2 plus 2 times the uh, mutual inductance which is calculated according to a coefficient of coupling. It sounds all mathematically rather complicated but you should get the gist of it. I hope you have a high resolution display because you're going to need it in order to read this, unfortunately. Maybe I can magnify it a little for you. These are the two paragraphs or the two sections right here that explain it on page 175. Now, we have to go all along to the quiz, which appears at the end of the chapter. And there are two questions in this quiz that are of concern. It's really the second question, number 15. And again, I will magnify so you can see it a little better. But you still should have a at least a 1080p resolution for your display. Let me see if I can magnify this one more time. Bear with me while I manipulate all these things. I wish I could make this a lot smoother and more suave and cool, but I'm an old man now. I'm on Medicare and everything. And Medicare is not affected by the government shutdown, so they say. Anyway, getting back to the text. Suppose you have two 50-turn air core loop-like coils and the uh, coefficient of coupling uh, varies as you place them along a common axis and bring them closer together. What happens to that coefficient of coupling when you bring those two inductors together? Well, in any case, it always increases. It always increases, and you'll learn that in the text of chapter 10. Okay, no problem there. The correct answer to, to quiz question number 14 in chapter 10 is C. Now let's go to question number 15. What happens to the mutual inductance between the two coils as you carry out this exercise, move them closer together? Well, the correct answer to this question is C. It increases. And you can learn that from the formulas you saw on page 175. It's pretty straightforward. 
the mutual inductance increases. But when you look at the answer key in the back of the book, you'll see D. You'll need more information to answer this question. Well, that is a mistake on my part. And I think what I did, and I even did it when I answered a technical when I answered a question about this from a reader of the book indicating that that brain defect had yet had not had yet net healed in my gray matter between the two little things on the side of my head supposedly to pick up acoustic disturbances the correct word here to make this question so that it, the correct answer is D would be what happens to the net inductance or total combined inductance between the two coils? The total combined inductance will increase if you bring the coils closer together because the currents in the windings reinforce each other. But the net or total inductance will go down as you bring the coils closer together if the two currents oppose each other in phase or buck each other. We aren't told here whether you bring them, whether the currents reinforce or whether they buck. So the net inductance, not mutual inductance, but net or total inductance between the two coils as you carry out the exercise described in question 14 will depend on whether the currents reinforce or whether they buck. We're not told that, so then the correct answer would become D. So you can take your pick. You can either change the answer key to C, or you can change the question to read net inductance or total inductance instead of mutual inductance. Either way, then, the book will be correct but the gray matter defect in Stangibilisco will remain probably until the end days. <laughs> Stangibilisco, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, now signing off until next time with better luck, we hope. So long.